And think back, think back now, now that the internet is so much a part of our lives, think back, think back to our first password, because our minds, our brains are so filled with passwords. It's such a struggle for us to remember all the passwords. We go to businesses online and you go, I can't remember, I can't remember my password. And you put it, sometimes they lock you out and they go, no, you've got one more try to remember your own password, you <laughs> fucking idiot. Oh. <laughs> or you click, I forgot it, and they ask you questions about your life and you don't even remember the answers. They're about your own life. What is your favorite pet? Oh no, I can't believe I chose one. <laughs> the dog walks in. If it doesn't me, I'm leaving. I'm literally walking out the door. <laughs> the passwords. And at the beginning, we all had one password. It was, our, it was our first password we can nostalgically remember. And we used it for everything. Every time we joined another business, can I have your password? Yes, you can. That is my special word. <laughs> and then companies started getting quite rude. You would put your password in and it would go, weak. Who are you <laughs> to judge my special word? And they're like, I'm sorry, but the internet has become very popular. We need to strengthen your password. And businesses would insist we must have from you a capital letter. I'm sorry, we will not be accepting passwords anymore unless it contains at least one capital letter. <laughs> and we all momentarily considered our options before deciding to capitalize the first letter <laughs> of our password. Um, for a period of time, that was fine. But the internet became even more popular. And then businesses started saying, I'm afraid you cannot join unless you have at least one capital letter and at least one number. <laughs> Again, less than half a microsecond's consideration before we collectively decided you shall be getting the number one. <laughs> and that will be at the end of my now capitalized password. <laughs> and for a period of time, this was acceptable until a whole new, unexpected, and exciting dawn emerged. A world of special characters. <laughs> we didn't even know what they were. And businesses would say, we need a capital letter. We need a number, but we will also require a special character. And we clicked on the button. Please, can I have some examples of these special characters which you now insist upon? And we peruse them. There they are. I had no idea these characters were so special until all of our eyes stopped upon the exclamation mark. <laughs> You're coming with me. Which we then put at the end of our now capitalized password, just after the one. <laughs> and it's at this moment that everybody at the London Palladium is thinking, I should probably change my password. <laughs> I'm probably going to do that tomorrow. I'll do that now. We need to think of another special word. Got to get that changed. into a bar that's too hot and it's normally our own fault we don't have time to wait when we run the hot tab when we run the cold we don't have time to wait for the full proper temperature to reveal itself you just have a that should be fine you go away into your busy life and you come back and you normally know as soon as your foot goes in as soon as it goes in you normally go oh I've, I've run that a bit too hot but often you don't realise it until you're in already. You get in and you start lowering yourself because it takes a while for the information that your feet are burning <laughs> to reach your brain where the information has to go to tell you about it. Because it's a really quite a long way for the information to travel. So you start lowering yourself and you're thinking, something doesn't feel altogether <laughs> right here. Then it just hits you. <laughs> Now, a split second decision do I stay or do I go? <laughs> and many times you just go, I can't! Oh my god, I can't! And you end up standing naked in your bathroom. You look down, you've got this sort of red skin <laughs> socks of pain. Ow! Look what I did to myself. 
Then you have to empty the hot out, put cold in, which involves sacrificing your arm to plunge <laughs> to the pluck, pluck, plunging. Very dangerous. You look at your arm as if to say, this will hurt, I do apologize. <laughs> Press yourself. <laughs> Sometimes you can't get a purchase. You're like, I could lose my arm. <laughs> But the braver amongst us, there's many here tonight, and I count myself amongst you, will hover paddle. <laughs> this is where you get into the bath, even though it hurts, and you hover over the surface. You get the cold on, and you start paddling <laughs> like a man. We can change this. It's getting better all the time now. Be brave. Be brave. And you inherently know it's time to change that. Now, come on! It's getting better, it's getting better, come on. <laughs> and then you have to test it. How is the water going? Is it ready to fully submerge? <laughs> and you do this with your bottom. You select <laughs> your bottom, and the task of your bottom is simply to dip in to see, is it ready? How's it going? Is, how's it going? <laughs> this is where I forget, unfortunately, that I have balls. <laughs> It's not so much that I forget. It's more the angle <laughs> of dangle. <laughs> means that my balls are now the closest thing to the surface of the water, not my bottom after all. And it comes as a nasty surprise. <laughs> it's the most sensitive part of the human body. It's the last part of the human body, let's be honest, that you would volunteer <laughs> to test boiling water with. <laughs> No one's ever handed me a cup of tea and said, Michael, this might be a little bit on the hot side. Well, we shall soon find out, my friend. Hover paddle hardened bollocks there, my friend. 